a famous love story of the 21st century. You know who I'm talking about, Kim Ye. Or should I say, Kim Pei? How does Kanye West feel about Pete Davidson? I mean, how would you feel about your ex's new boyfriend when you're dying to get them back? It all started in November 2021 with Pete Davidson and Kim Kardashian West, or should I say Kim Kardashian, confirming their relationship after getting snapped together on multiple occasions. If you had the opportunity to play this game of life, you need to appreciate every moment. Pete Davidson and Kanye were friends until Pete decided to be in a relationship with his ex-wife. And as you would have guessed, Mr. West wasn't handling the news very well, considering he had recently declared his desire to reconcile. Amid the love story, what caught everybody's attention was the feud between Kanye and Pete. Kanye was sad and absolutely fuming. He hated Pete Davidson for banging his wife, so he blew up on multiple occasions and even threatened him. Him. Yeezy did almost everything possible to get Kim's attention, even going as far to publicly diss Pete. This is an example of the celebrity's troubling internet behavior, which became more widespread with time. At times, he has been accused of harassing Kim. One of the first attacks against Pete included a diss track. For real! Kanye West released a controversial music video, which shows him killing Kardashian's beau, Pete Davidson. One of the lyrics say, God saved me from that crash just so I can beat Pete Davidson's this is from his song, Easy. He depicted a figure that resembled Pete getting beheaded in his music video and burying the character alive. As Kanye stated, art is therapy. It gives us an insight into his personality and what's going on in his head. The music video got some major backlash. Its graphic depiction was gross. It showed the beheaded Pete getting buried alive. Not to worry though, the real Pete was not harmed in the making of the video. It was a dummy. Later, Yeezy posted a black and white church sign that said, Art is protected as freedom of expression and speech. Art inspires and simplifies the world. Art is not a proxy for any ill or harm. Any suggestion otherwise about my art is false and ill-intended. He has posted multiple posts on Instagram for the purpose of dissing Pete, and people are not liking it. He also posted a photoshopped movie poster titled West vs. Davidson Fight. Not gonna lie, a lot of people would pay to see that. Who would you bet on? In said poster, Pete is referred to as skeet, which according to the Urban Dictionary means a white guy who is banging your ex. Apart from disses, Kanye has some other beef with Davidson. This time, it's over his son, Saint. He is extremely furious that Saint and Pete were spotted together when out in public with Kim. That's a pretty weird thing to be upset about. Kanye really feels really offended and communicated his sentiments to Kim. He even shared a screenshot of his chat with Pete Davidson, which he captioned as, I'll never allow you to meet my children. It's a bit late for that, my dude. This was his reply to a message Pete sent him saying that he wouldn't dream of coming between Kanye and his kids. It's great that Pete didn't want to step on any toes here. Surely Kanye would understand that? Nah, Kanye had other plans. He continued harassing Pete over his relationship with his ex-wife. Will this guy learn that it's over? He once again took shots at Pete by sharing a screenshot of his own name trending on Twitter. He wrote that people should hold their spouse close and assure them that they love them because there's a skeet lurking in every dirty alley. That's actually pretty funny. He said he wanted Kim and his children to be together and that he'll love Kim forever, no matter what. Not only that, he also shared a screenshot from a supporter who said that the love story of Kim and West is the best of the 21st century. Kanye captioned the image, thanking his fans for the support and advising them to shout loser if they ever saw Pete Davidson on the streets. That's a step too far. Too far that Kim had to step in. She said that Kanye is creating a dangerous and scary environment for Pete. Kanye posted that he will handle the situation himself. West's activities on Instagram come after Kardashian and Davidson went on back-to-back -back dates in New York last week after being seen holding hands on a roller coaster during Halloween weekend in LA. Something happened that caused Kanye to blow up. The comedian sent a picture of a couple laying in bed and said, literally,
literally the best mother I've ever seen. Kanye posted it on his Instagram and said, the boyfriend texts me antagonizing me, bragging about being in bed with my wife. He further added, who's watching the children if he's texting me, bragging about being in bed with my wife? And now the 28-year-old Davidson is reportedly trying to stay away from Kanye after the rapper publicly called him a D-head and accused him of trying to break the family apart. Pete has been in trauma therapy because of Kanye West's numerous attacks on social media. This went on and on until finally Kim nor Pete could take any more abuse. The couple decided to break up and become friends instead, upon which Kanye shared a fake newspaper picture with the headline, Skeet Davidson dead at the age of 28. The rapper unfollowed Kardashian on Instagram over the weekend, making this the second time he has unfollowed her in the past two months. Has Kanye's obsession been growing with time, or has he become an attention seeker? He not only wanted Kim's attention, but the media's as well. No surprises there, he wanted to be in the spotlight. According to a source close to the rapper, West was not happy about the developing romance and was hurting while trying to stay cheerful and move on with his life. After all all this drama, Kanye wrote online that he lacks social skills and communication. He is working on it, though. He said that the screenshots were never meant to harass Kim in any way, and that he'll learn to be a good leader is to be a good listener. But guess what? He's just getting worse. And this time, Pete isn't the only victim. He's not only hounding Pete, but he's now including all the people who are close to him, those like Hillary Clinton and Jeff Bezos, because he reportedly had dinner with Kim and Pete. He also calls out Kid Cudi for staying friends with Pete. He dissed Machine Gun Kelly in his music video. He criticized Pete for having a tattoo of Hillary Clinton and posted a screenshot of Pete's Instagram post showing the tattoo. The article's caption read, When I tag someone, I'm merely building the web. The media and elections are controlled by a particular set of people. God bless the freedom of speech. Obviously, anybody on Earth would have been affected by all the harassment, false accusations, and so much hate. Fans have indeed witnessed such actions from West in the past. However, experts argue that we must not ignore his latest social media attacks on Kardashian and Davidson, especially since doing so sends the incorrect message to people who have endured harassment or violence in their relationships. Perhaps the breakup was for the best. Pete being so far away in Australia put a lot of strain on things. The distance hasn't been simple to handle. The former lovebirds were not ready for a long-term commitment. Fans have indeed witnessed such actions from West in the past. This probably won't be the last time either. It's only a matter of time before someone else becomes the subject of Kanye's wrath. And then once we open that conversation, and we need to do it on a platform live with lawyers asking questions.